you want to see what I get into when my daughter leaves me alone with her dogs? Keep watching. Hey, Mom! Recently, while visiting my daughter, I realized that you can easily make kids' costumes into dog costumes and with very little supplies. So for all of these, I'm just using a needle, thread, scissors, and a hot glue gun. Oh, and some elastic. First up is the bumblebee costume. I purchased these costumes from Dollar Tree, and I knew I wanted to open up the skirts so that my daughter's dogs are girls. If they had to go to the bathroom or something, they'd be able to do that. I secured the elastic band with pins and then cut the skirt. I used a hot glue gun to just glue the sides, um, making sure that I had that tool fastened down underneath the material. Save that piece, you're going to use it later. So I used this little piece of material to create a fastener for the wings. Just hot glue it shut so that it looks nice. Bumblebee costume is for Dasher and she has very narrow shoulders. So I'm using this little piece to create almost a harness so that the elastic doesn't slip down her little narrow shoulders. I'm just sewing the button on and I'll create a loop with the elastic on the other side. Visiting. Hi. Cash, Cash is visiting. Let's see how you guys look with their little skirts. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Oh my goodness, it's for the vent. You dummies are going to be so cute. You are. How are you? Good? Yeah? You come here for neat breeds as well. I mean, I have them. You guys are going to be so cute. You're gonna be absorbs. Let's take a video. Beauty. Let's Hey. Dasher. You wanna see your thingy? No. Okay, back to work. I also sewed a button on the side of the skirt and made another loop with the elastic on the other side. And with that, the bumblebee costume is done. On to the ladybug. This one is made for Leo, and it's basically made the same way, uh, but Leo is more fluffy than Dasher, and she's also a larger dog. So we take care of her in a different way here. Again, I'm just pinning the elastic so that I don't lose it in the channel, and I just cut out the area on both sides of the seam.
just hot glue the sides, making sure that the tool is tacked down. supposed to happen with the unicorn tail. It's a mess. Okay, we won't have a unicorn tail. Again, we're going to hold on to that piece of material. The rest is pretty much the same, so we'll just follow along. Actually, I think a dog started scratching under the table, so we'll just skip this part. Here you can see that I sewed a button onto the end of that material and I created a little bit of an extension because Leo's a little bit bigger in her belly area. Now for her headpiece. So I also purchased this from Dollar Tree and I'm just sewing a piece of elastic underneath so that it doesn't fall off of Leo's head. at the top together to create like a thicker kind of mane. It still wasn't that thick, but it was okay. And I used hot glue to also uh, glue it onto the head uh, bands, but I didn't think it was strong enough, so I did put a couple stitches in it as well. Leo has plenty of white fur. She didn't need all this. And with that, the unicorn costume is done. because I was in a thrift store and they were selling kids costumes for $2 each. And I saw this and I just could not resist. It's a 3T toddler costume and I know that Dash is so small and thin so I was like maybe this will work. 
So what I'm doing here is just cutting off the zipper. I already cut off the back ones. And I cut around the head area as well because it's way too big for her head. I use a hot glue gun to hem the sides and I use a hot glue gun like this for the whole costume. a piece of elastic to sew a little band that will keep the hood on so that uh, her ears will stay up. I also attached a button and a piece of elastic around the neck area to keep that area I wanted to have open legs for the front legs, so I cut them down the middle and I used a piece of elastic to fasten around where Dash's ankles will be and I hot glued all of that into place. Cut the back to round it off if you like. And I'm using a piece of the material that I cut off earlier to create a tail. the tail onto the rest of the costume and you're done. I hope you enjoyed these quick, easy, and cheap dog costumes made out of kids' costumes. If you did, please leave a like and share this with your friends and subscribe to Hey Ma! The rest of the video is just cute dog videos. She's a bumblebee. Are you a pretty little bumblebee? <laughs> Hi! We do not. Hey. Oh. Hey. Look at this! Oh boy! Oh boy! Look at these doggies! They're so 
Beautiful. Hey, what happened to your skirt? Okay, Dasher took her skirt off. Dasher. Hey, 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 hey. Don't attack the lady lady. Ah. Oh my goodness. Leo's used to my craziness. Dasher. Maybe not as much. Dasher, do you not like it? Okay, I won't make you wear it. I won't make you. Oh, does this bother you? All right, stop, 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 stop. I'll get it. There you go. Okay. Bumblebee. Who's a bumblebee? All right, she doesn't like the straps. Okay, I'll take the straps off. All right, that's right. Oh, oh my goodness. I got a bumblebee sitting on me. Oh, yeah, loves it. That's her not so much. Okay. Oh, yeah. a pretty unicorn. You are. Who's a pretty unicorn? Hey, tricks for treats. Tricks for treats. A good set. That's it. Over there. Scooby-Doo! 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 